show me where it says where pe- That's on the casino floor. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. It's Caesar's place, round the corner from your house. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo -hoo 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 for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. No way! Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. Hey! Damn! He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down. Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijan. Dentistry is an industry that hasn't advanced in the last hundred years. Still a bunch of sadomasochists. I just had them laser! Best way to make a man talk is to stop him being able to talk. That hurts too much. <laughs> Mr. Phillips. Ask him about Tahir Javan. What didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. <laughs> he lives in Jumar. The ride on the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? Oh. <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? 
Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> Steve and Trevor getting along. Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. <laughs> this thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than they needed. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. This'll put hair on your chest. You going to kill me? My heart! No clips! He looks so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. Here goes. How long was that out? Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk. Today, I, I got to give now. The secret That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, 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 yeah. This dog. guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. I have this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Ah! Oh, Sorry, too oh. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! It ain't even the biggest tool. Nut <laughs> So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? 
Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. The place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our... This is a mental... Ow! I got blood in my mouth! My mouth! I, I was dry! <laughs> Look at me, I am a genuine government man. Stop it. It's done the trick. Are we gonna get him up? Let me up. Let me up. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Michael, what the fuck is wrong with you? What? I had my eyes on a target. Listen, anyone in that joint's got as much chance of being a threat to national security as the next guy. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want you to go home. I want you to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning group. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Torture's 
or the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. 